<clears throat> so surprise, surprise, <clears throat> exactly as I predicted, I, uh, exactly as I predicted, I not, I don't have one, I have two copyright claims, two unadulterated fucking copyright claims on my video, a depressed collapsitarian ecotourist visits Bucky's Superstore in the great state of Texas. So, uh, when I was going around Bucky's in the background, uh, in the fucking background on the speakers were these goddamn, uh, awful, awful fucking, uh, songs uh some chick named Miranda Lambert and some dude I thought it was uh Garth Brooks it was one of these Garth Brooks clones Easton Corbin uh so we got uh, Columbia Nashville Records giving me a copyright violation and Mercury Nashville. And because my channel is not monetized, uh, apparently nothing's going to happen. Viewing restrictions, none. My restriction is can't monetize the video. And if you agree with these conditions, you don't have to do anything. Let's learn more. What is a content ID claim? Uh, if you upload a video that contains copyright protected material, you could end up with a content ID claim. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so... Can... Oh, I see. So, 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 check this out. If I do, if my channel was monetized, okay, uh, if my channel was monetized, then, then the, the ad revenue go would go to it wouldn't go to me it uh it would uh it would go to the record producers uh it would go to the these Nashville record producers if my channel was monetized Good Lord. Uh, so am I in trouble? Probably not. <coughs> In most cases, getting a content ID claim isn't a bad thing for a YouTube channel. Blah, blah, blah. It's up to the copyright owner to... Uh... So what can I do? Do nothing. And there you go. If you agree with the claim, you can just move on. I am moving on from Bucky's, and uh, I I decided not to put this video. I recorded this video. I haven't decided what to do about it. Um, this I was recording this NPR. Uh, <clears throat> radio program <clears throat> that was in itself a uh, a, a, a radio documentary about this transgender couple trying to get pregnant and it was truly vomit inducing that uh, not only that NPR was running this story but that these folks at Third Coast Documentaries uh, got 600 documentary uh, submissions 
Uh, and I guess it was the fourth place winner out of 600 documentaries. What they decided to give the fourth place thing to was this transgender couple where this woman who went from, I don't know, what, what do you call a woman who cuts her tits off, makes a dick out of her pussy, I guess, uh, and becomes a gay man? I call uh, that a fucked up woman uh, cutting her tits off and making a dick out of her pussy. I, I call that a mentally disturbed, uh, fucking clueless fucking moron. That's what I call it. And uh, I, I could give a flying fuck. And, you know, this whole transgender thing, it's just, I don't give a fuck. I honestly don't think this fucking, what do you call it? Is it, is it a he? Is it a she? Is it an it? Uh, is it a titless, dickless, biological wonder? I, I don't think whatever that person, I don't think that person has any fucking interest in hearing about my dick. Okay? You fucking clueless morons. All of this goddamn transgender rights. You know, I agree with Derek Jensen on this. It's, I don't give a flying fuck. If you want to cut your goddamn dick off, uh, if you want to make a pussy out of your asshole, if you uh, want, to, want to make a goddamn third leg out of your fucking tits, it's your fucking business. Just leave the rest of us normal people out of it. You're a fucking woman who turned your pussy into a dick, you clueless fucking bitch. But that wasn't my problem with the video. My problem with the video was was NPR and these goddamn little lefties <clears throat> cheering on breeding. It wasn't an anti-tranny rant. I don't have any problems with, with trannies. I, I just wish they would go back in the fucking closet you know, we don't give a fuck whether you have a dick or a pussy. One other person on the planet gives a fuck about your goddamn dick and your pussy and your tits. Okay? Tell it to the one fucking person who gives a fuck. Unless you're trying to win a fucking uh, documentary award and, and getting uh, played on, on NPR. Uh, anyway, my, my rant wasn't about that. It was about the clueless fucking breeders. I don't care if you're heterosexual, homosexual, transsexual. If you're a fucking breeder, you're a clueless fucking moron. And, and my rant was just pointing out how, uh, uh you, you know, these little spineless, dickless, titless, pussyless, sexless, uh, little lefty uh, whatever these these NPR lefties it's the reason they make me want to fucking puke they're, they're, they're cheering on breeding it, it was all about breeding it, it was more about breeding and, and how great being a parent is and bringing more children into this world and so I was actually commenting uh, on this clueless fucking story as it was playing out. But uh, it's not worth a more serious con uh, content ID claim uh, is what I would get out of it. So somehow I'm gonna, going to uh, refrain from playing that video. It was quite hilarious. I was, I was actually quite proud of it. But uh, I wanted to run a test with Bucky's, and if and if Bucky the Beaver, if Bucky the Beaver is going to give me two content ID claims, I can imagine uh, <clears throat> what NPR would have to say to your old eco Nazi. So somehow I'm going to uh, refrain, show a little ham bone constraint fucking breeders. It doesn't matter if, if it's goddamn NPR or, or Rush Limbaugh. 
you, you know, breed, baby breed. I gotta go, uh, sitting here in this fucking motel room in goddamn Mobile, Alabama here going on midnight and I gotta get my climate change meltdown roundup rant. It's gonna be, I think it's supposed to be 18 degrees in Mobile, Alabama tonight. Uh, a fine evening to get together a climate change meltdown roundup rant. Bye guys.